Welcome back to the ProPonics YouTube channel, your go-to channel for all things hydroponics. Today, we're discussing a topic that's often overlooked but is crucial for your hydroponic success, plant spacing. We'll explore how hydroponic plant spacing differs from traditional soil gardening and how getting it right can help maximize your yields while keeping your plants happy and healthy. Let's get growing. First off, why is plant spacing such a big deal in hydroponics? Well, unlike traditional soil gardening, hydroponics allows us to grow more plants in the same space. It's like having a compact car that has the interior space of an SUV. However, just like in any garden, your plants still need their personal space to spread their roots and foliage. If your plants are too close for comfort, it could lead to lower yields and a higher risk of disease. Imagine being in an overcrowded room where it's hard to breathe and move around. That's pretty much how your plants feel when they're all squished together. They need adequate airflow to prevent disease and enough light to photosynthesize and grow. If they're planted too close, they might end up blocking light from each other, which is a big no-no. Now, finding the right balance in plant spacing can be a bit tricky. Too close and your plants may compete for light and air, too far and you're not making the most of your growing space. It's all about finding that just right spacing. The trick is, this just right spacing can vary depending on what plants you're growing and how you harvest them. For instance, larger plants like tomatoes need more spacing, while humble lettuce is more compact and can manage with less. Also, if you're a commercial grower who harvests the entire mature plant in one go, you may need different spacing compared to home growers who prefer continual harvesting. With continual harvesting, you take just a few outer leaves at a time, allowing the plant to keep growing. It's like giving your plant a haircut, not a clean shave. There isn't a one-size-fits-all rule for hydroponic plant spacing, as different variables come into play. Think of it like a puzzle. Every piece, or in this case, every plant type and growing condition fits differently. For instance, the growth habit of your plant, whether it grows tall and narrow or short and wide, will influence the space it needs. Similarly, the type of hydroponic system you use, the light intensity and the airflow in your growing area will all play a part in determining the perfect spacing for your plants. Leafy greens, like lettuce, are quite the crowd pleasers in hydroponic gardens. When it comes to spacing, these greens are pretty flexible. If you plan to harvest them all at once, aim for a spacing of about 6 to 8 inches between plants. However, if you're into continuous harvesting, a snug 4 inches could work just fine. It's like having a cozy little neighborhood of leafy greens. Now moving on to the big guys, tomatoes, peppers and beans. While some folks advocate for an 18 inch spacing, with a little tender loving care, you can keep them happy at 12 inches apart. It's like giving them a bit more room to breathe without renting out an entire football field. These are just general guidelines and your mileage may vary depending on your specific growing conditions. It's always a good idea to observe your plants and adjust the spacing as needed. Your garden is your green canvas and you're the artist who gets to decide how to arrange your plants for that picture-perfect growth. A key factor here is proper pruning. Pruning keeps everything in check and prevents your plants from getting into each other's space. It helps in ensuring that their foliage doesn't overlap, which as we discussed earlier is essential to prevent them from blocking light from one another. Speaking of pruning, it's not just about snipping away aimlessly, it's an art. When your plants start getting a little too cozy with each other, grab a pair of sharp scissors and prune away crossing branches that rub together. This will help keep diseases at bay and ensure optimal light exposure. And it doesn't stop at pruning, training your plants is the next level. Training is like teaching your plants good posture, guiding them to grow in a way that maximizes your space. For instance, you can train your plants to grow vertically by removing sucker leaves and side shoots. It's like teaching them to stand tall and reach for the stars. Tomatoes are a perfect candidate for this. The best way to train your tomato plants is to maintain one main stem and get rid of all the side shoots or suckers. Make it a weekly routine to remove suckers that are about 2 to 2.5 millimeters in length. This training session will help your tomato plants grow vertically making the most out of your hydroponic space. So, as you see, hydroponic plant spacing isn't just a set it and forget it deal. It's an ongoing dance of observing, adjusting, pruning, and training. The magic lies in the maintenance, and the results? A thriving hydroponic garden with ample space for every plant to flourish. 
If you like what you just saw, go ahead and click the link in the description to find a full detailed article on this video's topic. And if you learned something new today, hit that like button and let us know down in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe for more hydroponics educational content and visit proponics.co.uk for in-depth articles on all things hydroponics. Grow smarter with proponics. And until next time, happy growing.